tell people what happened. <laughs> I didn't hit record. <laughs> I usually this is you normally look out for me. I trust you to be my usually buddy. I look out today. I wasn't looking. Never trust uh, me, Sid. This is the problem. <laughs> go back to it's okay. We will rewind. Mood. Okay, <laughs> let's start. What what was the question? Sid, this week there was a message and it was Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Elon Musk said go fuck yourself on live TV. Why? Yeah, on live TV it so the why is simple. There were mm -hmm. a lot of advertisers who were saying that they're gonna buy mm -hmm. Twitter. Mm -hmm. accusing him of something which he's there are a lot of acu like accusation against him that he's anti-semitic mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. right wing he's none yeah. of those things mm -hmm. he had issues with multiple groups who mm -hmm. like to cancel people for some, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. reason mm -hmm. uh, who criticize something like something controversial like mm -hmm. You, I don't want to go in the detail, but people will understand what I'm saying. They mm -hmm. just accuse them of anti-Semitism. They are accusing Jewish people of anti-Semitism. They yeah. are also like Jews are Semites, but people don't yeah. know that all the Arabs are Semites. So calling mm -hmm. Arabs a Semite is also stupid. So they were mm -hmm. calling him anti-Semite because he come replied to a person on a Twitter mm -hmm. whose comment was about great replacement theory is about like replacing white people with jews or something is mm -hmm. a stupid thing in U usa mm -hmm. and then he commented that yeah you speak the truth but then sometimes people need to understand whatever is going on is in his hand in his mm -hmm. head it mm -hmm. doesn't rep represent him fully right sometimes mm -hmm. he says something or it go not with just with him it goes with everyone sometimes yeah, he says stupid things right yeah so he said a stupid thing it wasn't anti-semite like i don't think he even understood the whole tweet he mm -hmm. just replied mm. so then they start calling him anti-semite and then disney came in bob Iger. Mm -hmm. bob Iger said like i'm gonna pull out all the advertisement mm, from X, from yeah. twitter yeah yeah so today that question pop up and before mm -hmm. that recently he visited israel as well like mm, yeah. yesterday or day before yesterday yeah, it's so fast. yeah yeah so he went there he came back so the question starts like that oh you said some anti-semite things and then you went on this apology to him and mm -hmm. oh yeah it wasn't even an apology to where he course. just went there mm -hmm. anyway so before the questioner complete that question, he said, uh, don't advertise on my platform. And mm. the questioner was like, uh, what do you mean? Because he was speechless. <laughs> he was literally was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was like that. <laughs> anyway, so you are going to blackmail me with money. I am the richest man on earth. Yeah, and that's did. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have billions and billions of dollars. And mm -hmm. then like literally billions of billions of dollars like reminded mm. me of Carl C. anyway he said like if you want to blackmail me i don't need your money go fuck yourself and then he also said like if you don't advertise platform fail people will hate those companies and that's mm. true because mm. uh, elon musk what he is doing is amazing it has never been done before like literally mm -hmm. free speech platform citizen mm. journalists are yeah. like booming there there's first time in our life we see both mm -hmm. sides of the picture mm -hmm. it, it's not about one news. yeah yeah it's not about one yeah. topic it's about anything like you see the perspective of white people black people mm -hmm. from all mm -hmm. the sides coming yeah. in and then if the like you will see the perspective of company ceos which is like which was always there on the mm. mainstream media mm. but now you see the perspective of the workers because these mm. journalists goes to them and then nobody hear them on the mainstream media of course, he gave yeah. them a platform mm -hmm. and they yeah. are there and then he also and they get a chance to promote it like mario's mm. uh spaces twitter spaces mm -hmm. yeah are the best out there they you will see the perspective of all the people mm -hmm. so this is something he have provided so if yeah. this company fails now mm. people will hate yeah, the disney right. 
And yeah, to be honest, that's what he's saying. And I agree with him that people will h- hate those companies who will mm. destroy this platform. But I don't think this platform will be de- no. destroyed because a lot of people are paying to be there. Yes. Right. I, yes, I don't okay. have to. Yeah. I don't mm. get any. Technically, I don't get any. Bill. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I'm saying I don't get any benefit from mm. paying Elon, but I pay it because I love the platform. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And people say for the blue check mark, nobody cares about the blue check mark anymore. Mm. Everybody has it. So mm-hmm. yeah. the whole thing right there is to support the platform where you mm. get the real news. Yeah. And he said, fuck you, and I'll support him. <laughs> and then he said, hi, Bob. And he didn't even <laughs> say it once. He said it multiple <laughs> times. So good. Oh, fuck yourself. Fuck you. And then later on, he tried to push and he said, FY. <laughs> this is cool too. Because I've never heard anybody say FY before, but this was cool. He said, FY. <laughs> Anytime he tried to answer. And then the best thing he said, hi, Bob, which is like, he clearly challenged Bob Iger. He knew that Bob was in the audience. Disney Bob. <laughs> This Bob guy, again, yeah, this is what I was trying to say. Bob Iger mm. ruined Disney for everyone. Like, mm. why you are f- destroying the already established movies? Yeah. Like, Snow White, it's, it's basically it's related to girls, but when you're a kid, you watch Snow White and remember. Of course. Seven du- the best part of the Snow White movie was not Snow White, it was Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> Right, and then <laughs> they replaced <laughs> replaced seven dwarves with seven magical creatures. Yeah, did you see that? No, that was, but they don't need to so, remake this stuff. No, this but is, okay, remake good. it. That's fine, but don't ruin it. Like they, yeah. the dwarves are not dwarves. I don't think they need to remake it though. It was already so good. And what it was he, already so good. He was a known use, user of psychedelics, so that's why they're so creative. Yeah. Well, that's true. And then this mm. they, this guy really ruined. And then this is so corporate it, now and yeah. work. Yeah, it, that's it's why like... I appreciate all the people out there. They literally boycotted a lot of the movies. Mm. And Disney, yeah. any movie Disney is producing right now is is a big flop. They have released like four hundred mm. million dollar loss. Yeah, this yeah, is their yeah. new report, which is amazing because they need to correct themselves. Otherwise, what's mm-hmm. going to happen? We're going to stop watching because before there were like only limited companies out there which were mm-hmm. producing content, right? Thanks to YouTube. Yes. If mainstream movies and everything goes like goes to shit and they mm-hmm. stop making it, nobody will get bored because there's so much content. So out much there. out there already, and these yeah. platforms are creating their own now, like yeah. Netflix and everything. We like there is a lot of content. Yeah, and even the independent creators, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Most of the like most of the things I consume every day are like on local independent. Yeah, content. yeah, yeah. Mostly yeah, podcasts. Yeah. I listen to mostly podcasts. So yes, yeah. So yeah. this is what I'm saying. Like nobody cares. So they need to correct themselves. They cannot push their agenda to us anymore. I it's like not going to affect not us. Being bullied by a big corporation. Yeah, and this is why everybody needs to get fuck you money. <laughs> and we can just do whatever we want. Sid. <laughs> yeah, like okay, a normal CEO cannot say that. Like of, of any company, not. even a Fortune 500 company yeah. CEO cannot say that. He can say it because he is the richest man, like man yeah. on earth. He have like two hundred billion dollar in his account right now. He can run this company for <laughs> years, as for like as long as he want. But it won't come to that. He will Fuck make money. more money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it, Sid. They're releasing the content for the content, like earning platform for the content creators oh yes yeah they will make a lot of money from that too oh yeah absolutely yeah. well it, it is like x is becoming a one-stop shop for everything right yeah like, yeah eventually they're going to have their own um way of spending and yeah. they're going to be a streaming channel so um it's going to be very interesting exactly. i'm behind it i i like it it's yeah. like great platform yeah. or i yeah. met most of my best friends that are like it's great yeah Sid, tell me something. Go for it. <laughs> Is COVID coming back? Oh, <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> well, it's not COVID, right? They're calling it a respiratory problem. Which is like COVID was also a respiratory. You can name it whatever. Exactly. Basically, it's a new pandemic. And mm -hmm. all, most of the pandemic were respiratory, right? Yes. The Spanish flu yeah. was also respiratory. Absolutely. Yes. So, yeah. But they're also calling it pneumonia. So this is like really yeah. serious because like yes. COVID was not causing... No. Basically, yeah. COVID was not dangerous at all. It was more yeah. hype, but not mm -hmm. that dangerous. Like mm -hmm. it was easy way if you were if your immune system was strong, you yes, would have easily course. fight it out, which we have all done. Yes. I got COVID, I survived. Mm -hmm. Of course. This thing is dangerous. Also, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. I was reading news about Ebola. Mm -hmm. It was like outbreak of Ebola or H1. Mm. N1, which is, I think, is Ebola. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> so it was happening in the US, and now this news is coming out. And this is not like the first time I heard this news this week. Mm. I've been hearing it for weeks. Mm. But today, mm. I think the video came out of the people in hazmat suit yes. spraying in the school mm. and everything, school, which yeah. remind me of COVID 19. Yes, yeah, because the first is, footage we saw was very dramatic, and it was yeah. in China. Well, I think that was fake footage, to be honest, because that was not the effect of COVID. Nobody no. ever fought, like, you know. Lay the down in the were, street. Yes, yeah. it was like businessmen now, in the street yeah. lying down. And yeah. it seems so serious, because why yeah. do you just go to work in the morning and then lay down in your suit? <laughs> yeah, I think it was whole conspiracy yeah. yeah it was hoax yeah hoax this thing that. you know what's gonna happen this mm -hmm. time we people will think that this is hoax mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they won't care and this will be the real pandemic mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah but you know the funny part they said last i think last week i heard that mm -hmm. this uh, virus came from a pangolin which was like the initial story for the covid that covid came oh. out of a pangolin Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before bats, it was pangolin. B before that, this shit happened with like COVID. Uh, mm -hmm. That they were saying that oh, it came out of pangolin, then it came mm -hmm. out of the bat, and then mm -hmm. turned out it was released from a lab. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this one also released from a lab mm -hmm. because like <clears throat> pangolin and humans are living side by side for a long time mm, sure not just pangolin bats mm. all the animals mm. yeah yeah absolutely never in the history we have maybe we had some we had the one with the rats yes yes but like, yeah the plague yeah yeah the plague one but there are other things but i don't know like in this age we can get stuff from that maybe we get but i don't think it will become this crazy virus unless you get yeah. from them there is also one serious problem for mm. the viruses people don't understand people mm. just make fun of global warming yes there is a real problem here you know the permafrost the actual mm -hmm. ice which is frozen for thousands of years mm -hmm. yeah not just in antarctica but in himalayas and mm. all the places which is also a part of China too, right? Yes. So the ice is melting over there. Mm -hmm. And all the scientists have said that these, like this ice contains some viruses Bacteria, which are yeah. pretty yeah, human. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the humans are not immune to them. Mm -hmm. And then if they, if the ice melts, these viruses will release and they will cause pandemic because humans are not yeah, immune to no them. Yeah, no exposure, yeah. This is also a possibility that this happened. Mm. That those viruses release and then they are getting into them. But I still think it's another COVID-19 type of thing released from the lab. Mm. And then this will be serious. Yeah, well, they're saying it's because uh, the children were locked up over COVID and now they've come out immune deficient. So they're basically getting all the pneumonia they haven't been yeah. exposed to. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Like, it wasn't that kind of a lockdown. Mm. Well, yeah, it was like, it, I mean, children maybe didn't attend school for, what, a year? A year, but that's not like a crazy lockdown. No, it's not like five yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. So um, anyway, do you think we're going to lock down, Sid? Yeah. I think, think we... Uh, 
Uh, you know what I think? Mm. Government will try to lock us down, but people mm-hmm. will not go to lockdown again. Yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. Because, you know, most of us, we mm. don't, we can easily work from home. Yeah. I actually work from home. Mm-hmm. Like, unless I'm shooting on the location. Yeah. Most of my job is related to editing. So I'm doing it. So it's not affecting them. But there are people out there who need to go out. Absolutely. And work. They have they kids. They have to feed yeah. their kids. Mm-hmm. They have to pay rent. They have to do this. They already, they are still recovering from COVID. COVID yeah. 19, yeah. COVID 19 loss. It was mm. like, and now the government is asking the money back, which they have given it to them. Mm, yeah, crazy. Which is still bad. Like, st- yeah, but this is not government's money. This is the money you gave us from our taxes. So you just yeah. forget yeah, yeah, yeah. and write it on. off. But now, yeah. yeah, but they are asking yeah. it back. It's crazy. So this wire is going to come and kill r- a lot of people because mm. people will not accept this virus. But I hope it won't come to that. Mm. <clears throat> Yeah, I hope this time because you know until COVID nineteen governments were not ready. Mm, yes, and I hope they are ready this time to prevent it because mm-hmm. now they know what could happen. I know my government from Canada; they are mm. not prepared. U.S. government is not prepared, mm. but I hope Chinese are because Chinese are very efficient people. Mm, yeah, like they're as on their government level so they usually learn from their mistakes and they try to implement so i hope they will stop this pandemic i read a thing uh, from a virologist after covid and he said we should expect a a new virus every two years and it will generally come from china yeah uh, if they stop messing with the nature Mm -hmm. things will be fine but they yeah yeah it can like probably I won't be surprised in five to ten years we'll see a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> you sorry, folks. <laughs> Not kidding, because <laughs> these virus, if right now they're like respiratory virus. Sure. Yeah, but they could be a brain virus too, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we. Or, have, you know the yeah. that parasite which take over the animal's body, grasshopper's body, kills the grasshopper. No. There is a parasite which kills the grasshopper and take over the body. <laughs> so grasshopper cannot, like, it control the brain of the grasshopper. So right. it, the grasshopper become the zombie. Zombie grasshopper. Yeah, that's a real phenomenon. So that really? kind of a virus can release, right? Kill mm. humans and take over the body. Or the freshly dug bodies. If the oh, virus yeah. goes there, they just somehow make them come to life. We will think it's a magical thing happening. Apocalypse <laughs> happening. God's wrath. But actually, it's a fucking virus controlling Grandma's the dead back. body. Yeah. No, she's not, Timmy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Zombie apocalypse is my favorite virus. Yeah. AI. Oh, my goodness. So bad. So U.S. Congress, not the Congress, sorry, <laughs> Pentagon, mm-hmm. always say Congress because they are always like highlight of the news, but actually yeah. Pentagon <laughs> is moving forward oh. to give authority to the artificial intelligence to kill humans. Autonomously decide. Autonomously decide to kill humans. This mm. is the Very worst sad. case scenario like literally <laughs> the worst case scenario <laughs> this is something i've been always talking about that this is how ai gonna take over and i yes. cannot believe these stupid people are giving ai a reason mm-hmm. to kill like authority to kill so what do you mm-hmm. think gonna happen from this if you give them if you teach them because ai is not like set of com- like computer program mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. a thinking yes intelligence it's actually we call them artificial but it's an actual life form Mm, it's mm -hmm. like you know the movie transformers Mm -hmm. the optimus prime and Mm -hmm. bumblebee yes they yeah we they are like this so you have created a life form which is mechanical Mm -hmm. why don't you think you can get a megatron (laughs) 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 you will definitely get a megatron and that gonna kill all humans yeah because now you have not only teach them how to kill you're giving them you're 
asking them to kill. And the reason, you know, the reason they give mm. the China have 1.3 billion people. Right. We have only 300 million people. Mm -hmm. So man to man, we cannot have a mess. So that's why we need to allow <laughs> AI to go and kill those people. So that will be oh. an equal mess. This is like the dumbest argument ever. First of all, 1.3 billion people are not soldiers. They are the civilians. Course, you don't yeah. want to kill civilians. So no. your argument is like, wow, what, what are you thinking? Like, yeah, just pure numbers game, right? Like, yeah, that's and then outrageous. You are racist. Yeah. You are nationalist. AI is yeah. not racist. AI is not Racial nationalist. Everyone. For AI, all humans are the same. Mm, because same human beings are one race. No matter, we, we divide ourselves into different race, but we are all the sun of the yeah. same monkey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you go up and you will find a common ancestor. Yes. On that note, I bid you adieu. Oh. All <laughs> right. Bye-bye. Bye, Sid. Bye.